Probability. Probability is the study of the likelihood of events measured as a value between 0 to 1 indicating what fraction of the time that event occurs. This includes both where the outcomes are discrete and where they are continuous. Discrete probabilities can typically be handled with arithmetic, but continuous probabilities require the use of calculus and eventually measure theory to compute them. Important ideas in probability include random variables, probability distribution functions, cumulative distribution functions, expected values, variance, and more. Probability plays a key role in statistics. Probability has applications to statistics, physical life and social sciences, finance, gambling, artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer science, game theory, and more. Statistics. Statistics is the development and study of methods for collecting and analyzing real-world data in order to make conclusions about larger groups of populations. Two main ideas that statistics is concerned with is uncertainty and variability in observed data. Because of this, statistics heavily involves applications of probability. Moreover, as practically all of science uses empirical data to study reality, statistics has a myriad of applications. For example, statistics finds applications to physics, biology, chemistry, economics, environmental science, forensics, epidemiology, demography, geography, law, actuarial science, machine learning, data science, ecology, psychology, social science, political science, finance, sports, and so much more. Hey, there are two types of people in this world. Those who can extrapolate from incomplete data. And if you like that joke, hit that subscribe button. And if you didn't, uh, hit the subscribe button anyway, because we want you to be part of the Scholar Sauce community. All right, let's get back to the video. Descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics are measured quantities from a collection of information that summarizes some feature about that information. The topic of descriptive statistics is the study and analysis of such measured quantities. Examples of descriptive statistics are measures of central tendency, like the mean, median, and mode, and measures of variability, such as standard deviation, variance, max and min values, and so on. Descriptive statistics are used to describe features of a particular set of data. These have applications practically anywhere data is used, including in all the physical life and social sciences, healthcare, economics, business, government, sports, and more. Inferential statistics. Inferential statistics is the process of using data analysis about a sample to infer properties of the population from which the sample originates. Most often this means drawing conclusions about the descriptive statistics of the whole population based on the descriptive statistics of the sample, but may also include making predictions about the whole population. This inference often relies on an assumed model for the population and how the sample would have arisen from that model, followed by testing hypotheses and deriving estimates given that model. The main difference between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics is that descriptive statistics are exact measures about the sample of data we have, while inferential statistics try to infer information about the wider population from information about the sample of that population. Applications of inferential statistics include anywhere data is available about samples, but information about the entire population from which the sample came is desired. Usually that population is so large that it would be impractical to obtain that information directly. This includes applications to the physical life and social sciences, market research, clinical trials, political polling, economic forecasting, and much more. Data science. Data science is the application of statistics, linear algebra, scientific computing, visualization, and algorithms to model and analyze data structures obtaining insights about the data and the real-life phenomenon the data represent. Data scientists include developers that design and analyze algorithms to extract and extrapolate information from data, and users that utilize those algorithms to do actual data analysis and create insights from real-life data. Much of data science tends to focus on prediction rather than inference. Applications of data science include healthcare, disease identification and prediction, transportation, sports, government, e-commerce, gaming, social media, fintech, and so much more. Data science is currently one of the fastest growing and most in-demand subjects of mathematics and industry. Actuarial science. Actuarial science is the application of probability, statistics, game theory, and economics to solve the specific problem of assessing risk in insurance, pension, finance, and investments. Actuaries are employed primarily by insurance companies to compute the premiums that they charge that will both cover the costs for their clients and turn a profit for the company. Actuaries are employed in other industries to perform similar tasks. Actuarial science has applications to insurance, healthcare, finance, and economics. Non-parametric statistics. Non-parametric statistics refers to statistical analysis that makes minimal assumptions about the probability distribution of the underlying population from which a sample originates. This includes methods that are distribution-free and do not depend on a parameter like the mean or a variance. But it also typically includes techniques such as non-parametric regression that assume that the structure of the model may vary. Non-parametric models use the data to determine the structure of the model rather than assuming the data conforms to some model in advance. Because non-parametric statistics make minimal assumptions, they have a wide variety of applications including including analyzing ranked data, preference studies, and when the underlying distribution of a population is unknown. This includes applications to financial analysis, psychology, education, healthcare, market research, social science, and more. Mathematical statistics. Mathematical statistics is specifically the application of mathematics to statistics instead of a focus on collecting statistics data. 
This includes applications of various branches of mathematics, including probability, real analysis, linear algebra, stochastic analysis, differential equations, and measure theory. This plays a major role in statistical inference. Much of mathematical statistics deals with developing and improving statistical procedures that can be used in statistical research. Topological data analysis. Topological data analysis is a type of data analysis that uses the shape of a data set to understand information about it. Ideas from topology, such as metrics, algebraic topology, and homology, are applied to data sets to understand the shape of that data. The main tool of topological data analysis is called persistent homology. This idea takes a data set and by applying a metric can reduce the data set into a simplicial complex. The topology of that simplicial complex can then be used to better understand the behavior of the data. Topological data analysis has applications to medicine, material science, image analysis, biology, data science, geography, electoral redistricting and gerrymandering, and more. Biostatistics. Biostatistics is a branch of statistics focused on the analysis of living things with a heavy focus on people. Thus, biostatistics often is interested in data that may change over time. The most common methods in biostatistics are survival and longitudinal analyses. Biostatistics is most commonly used in pharmaceutical companies to help develop treatments for various ailments. Methods from biostatistics are also used in genetic research and thus are applied to additional fields such as biology. Stochastic analysis. Stochastic analysis is the study of stochastic processes. Stochastic processes are random processes defined on a family of random variables that change with time. Such random processes are used in many mathematical models of phenomena that appear to vary randomly. Stochastic analysis uses mathematical techniques from probability, calculus, linear algebra, set theory, topology, real analysis, measure theory, and functional analysis. Stochastic analysis has applications to biology, chemistry, ecology, neuroscience, physics, image processing, signal processing, control theory, information theory, computer science, finance, economics, and more. Ergodic theory. Ergodic theory studies statistical properties of deterministic dynamical systems. This uses mathematical techniques for measure theory and probability to understand the statistical behavior of deterministic dynamical systems, particularly when such a system is run for a long time. The main idea of ergodic theory is ergodicity, which is the quality that some dynamical systems possess that a point flowing in the system will eventually move through every point of the space that system moves in. Ergodic theory has applications to statistical physics, signal processing, financial mathematics, number theory, different differential geometry, probability theory, and more. And that's it for part five of every type of math. This part covered every type of statistics, but the first four parts of this series covered every type of calculus, algebra, geometry, and discrete mathematics respectively. If you missed those videos, you can find all five in this playlist here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to ScholarSauce to catch all the amazing content from our channel, including videos like this one about math facts that sound fake but are actually true. And we'll see you next time on ScholarSauce.